Hello, welcome to the weather for the week ahead from the Met Office. Rain. Heavy rain is the key factor in the forecast for the next few days. There are warnings in force. The rain may well cause some problems in places. Now, for a whole week across the whole of the UK, it's not going to rain everywhere. There will be some places that enjoy a bit of sunshine, some more than others. But the main message is that, as I say, most places are going to see a fair bit of rain over the next five to seven days. Why so? Well, because low pressure is in control. This area of low pressure dominating through the first part of the week. This weather front in particular just kind of straddling central areas, bringing persistent rain. The low does tend to edge northward, shifting the rain around a little bit come the end of the week and more out to the west by the time we get to Friday. But with low pressure this close, showers are never going to be too far away. Let's put a little bit of detail on then. As I say, there are warnings in force, particularly under this zone of wet weather through Tuesday. It's that weather front we saw earlier. It's not shifting too far. And if you're stuck under that all day, well, the rain could really be building up. There's a brisk wind coming in from the North Sea. So parts of eastern England in particular having a very soggy and cold day. It's a brighter day across the southeast compared to Monday. Some sunshine, but that could spark one or two showers. And heavy showers are also likely across southwest England, again, dropping a lot of rain in a short space of time. Southern Scotland, Northern Ireland, largely dry and bright on Tuesday. And it's here where we could see some of the highest temperatures, 15, 16 degrees. Also in the southeast, it should be a lot warmer than Monday with a bit more sunshine, but stuck under that zone. Thick cloud and outbreaks of rain, 11 or 12 Celsius at best. That's going to feel fairly bleak. Into Wednesday, that low pressure is still in control and that weather front hasn't shifted. The isobars still pretty close together. The winds coming in from the northeast, bringing a cool feel, even if you've got some sunny spells. Western Scotland again, looking largely dry and bright and a good part of Northern Ireland too. But there's that zone of wet weather again. The rainfall totals really building up through the middle part of the week. So there is the potential for some flooding issues. In the south, again, we're back to some sunshine but that will spark some heavy showers come the afternoon. They'll be hit and miss, not everywhere will catch them, but they could be, as I say, potentially giving some problems because the ground has seen so much rain over recent days. Fast forward to Thursday, and by then, at least the low is starting to shift north, and that weather front changing orientation. Some uncertainty about the position of it, but it does look as if we'll see more persistent rain moving across Scotland towards the end of the week. Again, parts of Northern Ireland may well stay dry and bright, but that zone of wetter weather pushing northwards, it means it may turn a bit drier across parts of the Midlands and eventually across parts of Wales and northwest England too. But stay tuned for updates on that because that weather front, I say, could be in a slightly different position. Wherever it's lying, it's not going to allow much warmth around temperatures where it stays dull and damp all day. 11 or 12, a bit of sunshine in the south. We could get into the mid to high teens, but again, that may spark some heavy showers. By the time we get to Friday, that low's toppled out into the Atlantic in a, into a more classical position, I guess you could say, for low pressure sitting close to the UK. But that will then still be bringing a mixture of sunshine and showers. It does look as if by Friday, at least, these eastern parts of England should be a little bit drier and a little bit brighter. With the low further west, that's where we'll see more of the showers by the time we get to Friday. And again, temperatures, well, mid-teens at best when the sun pops out between the showers, maybe uh, 19 or 20 across the southeast. The wind shifting direction now coming from the southwest rather than the northeast. And that low pressure, well, it doesn't really shift even into the weekend. It'll be losing some of its potency. The isobars perhaps spreading out a little bit, but nevertheless, with low pressure that close, again, showers are likely to continue on and off into the weekend. There are weather warnings in force for that heavy rain. Make sure you stay up to date with the very latest. You can get the uh, weather warnings on our app. Easy way to keep up to date is by following us on social media.